foods. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind, feelings last from seconds to minutes. Mm -hmm. You couple that with emotions, you generate emotion, they can last from, from minutes to hours. Yeah. You couple that with your frontal neocortex, logical, rational thinking, you end up with moods, which can last from hours to days to weeks. Mm -hmm. True. So when you start to make, put that together, we can start to tackle how to regulate the big three, I call them the big three emotions, which plague most guys, okay. which is, um, it's anger, fear, and sadness. Okay. And if we can learn to regulate those, dude, you're, you know, you're more than halfway there. Yeah, really, the, really being able to rationalize and succeed success in life. Being like the whole structure of uh, masculine presence, how important is being able to regulate your emotions? Yeah, your emotions. As as a man, how would you, how would you recommend to subscribers? Like, how important is it? Is it like top three, top five? Well, regulating your emotions is super important. I don't start with that though, because I think I would overwhelm the reader. Mm -hmm. I actually give the guys quick wins. You want to have a projection. I really do lean heavily in the front to uh, body language, voice, voice control. I teach you guys the resonant mass technique for having a masculine voice. I, I won't get into here, we go too yeah. long, but there are techniques you can do to do your voice, to pace it, mm -hmm. how to add inflection, uh, and then also how to use your a face. Actors do this all the time, and I go through some techniques to use your face to emphasize what you're projecting to somebody else or to a group. Uh, some of these come from public speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, I do that. And so some will say you do that and you couple it with a reinvention of your identity. We're always reinventing our identity. It's mm -hmm. important. I talk about the basic identities that uh, Carl Jung put out there just to give you a reference on what you might want. And then I use some examples of different types of current hero types, current famous people types, men we admire. Mm -hmm. And I ask the reader to grab onto something they can see and start to basically fake it until you're like that. Mm. Because here's the concept from outside in. Doing this with your behaviors will get you small wins. That mm -hmm. will build your confidence. You yeah. have to have some confidence to start to tackle your emotions. Yeah. So I have this question. If you fake it, but you fake it so well that you're actually doing it, Mm -hmm. and it's a part of your identity now, are you really faking it anymore? No, you, you made it. Actually, you have to make it. True. It's now your authentic yeah. self. Yeah. And you got to get past that because you will be beaten down or punched up saying, oh, you're just faking it until you make it. Mm -hmm. That concept is insane because it, everybody starts somewhere. Yeah. You know, from day sure. one. Human beings are the greatest imitators on the planet. <laughs> so... Use that to your advantage. Now that you've done that and you've had some wins socially, because I give you some exercises, you want, you're going to have wins, you're going to have losses, you're going to get embarrassed. It's okay. Mm. Accept it. Yeah. Move through it. And a big part of it is becoming social and building networks with the group. Yeah. For real, for real. And then the emotional regulation is critical to your fulfillment and success in life. It really, really is. And to having relationships that last. Mm -hmm. We live in the age of reactors. Heck, look at YouTube, guys. Mm -hmm. Eighty percent of us are Nothing. reacting to other mm -hmm. people's reactions yeah. to other reaction yeah, videos. Reactions. Are you kidding Very me? True. Yeah. Very true. Now, you guys have sat here. Mm -hmm. You've talked to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, most people listen to react to you, yeah. and they can't even let you finish your sentence mm -hmm. before they're reacting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's no emotional control. control. Yeah. You know, I use a big part of Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power. I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but part of being a dominant, masculinely present man is saying just a little less than is necessary. Mm. Because the human imagination will fill in that gap and it's always better than the reality. True. Why do you think Instagram works? <laughs> yeah. True. Right? Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Yeah. And so, and I'll give you another example out of the book. So where emotional regulation comes into play, so for the last 35 years, I've cried three times. That's a release of emotion. 